Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are moving forward with the virus removal series and I got a real quick one for you today. Now remember in the virus removal series you should probably follow them in order from, you know, the first episode on to the current episode. In the first couple episodes you downloaded my PC Michiana uh, virus removal pack. It's the HD virus removal pack and it has all these tools that are associated with removing those hard to remove viruses. This isn't for mainstream viruses, this is mostly for the really tough ones that maybe disable your executables on your machine. And as, as always, make sure you install a regular antivirus and run that if you can first. Okay, so uh, today we're going to talk about the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. Just double click on that. It's number three. They are numbered in order. It's going to give you the welcome message. It's going to give you a list of the stuff it's going to look for, but we're not going to go over that list. Just click next. Do a full scan because you are infected. You know you're infected. That's why you're going through this series. Just click next. And it'll start scanning your computer. Once the scan is completed, it'll either find some stuff for you to clean out and then, of course, go ahead and run through the scan. And if it's a really bad infection or if you're having a lot of issues with your computer, I suggest writing down what it found, you know, for future reference. Because you may have to do some research, because these viruses are notorious for reinstalling themselves after you remove them the first time. So it's good to write down what it finds if you're especially having like a crippling computer situation. So once it's completed, just clean it out, and then of course go to finish. It may require you to restart your computer, of course, and you may need to run the scan again. But that's all there is to it on running the Microsoft Malicious Software Removal Tool. As always, leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned, because we're going to move forward if these two tools that we used in the past few episodes haven't helped you out. There's plenty more where that came from. Thanks again.